Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right episode. Today is going to be all about an irrigation issue you may run into called an air hammer. So an air hammer happens when a valve is closing too quickly and it creates turbulence within the line, causing the line to jolt or shake, which may break connections or cause them to come loose and cause leaking. So that is what happened to me because it was an old irrigation system and because I'm running a full pressure line right here for the sprinklers, when that valve is shutting off, it's causing the jolt. On the line that has a pressure reducer on it, it's not happening really at all. So one of the ways that you can eliminate air hammer is to get a device like this, which is called an air hammer arrester. And I'm putting a link in the description for you guys so you can get one if you need it. I didn't have air hammer at my other location, but he did some research and I guess the orbit timers can have some problems with the air hammer because the valve shuts off very quickly. Now that I've got this on, it's working way better and the air hammer is not really happening anymore. Okay, so here's what it looks like when the air hammer happens. You see how it shook really hard like that and the hammer actually broke one of my back flow preventer and now it's actually caused these pipes to leak. So here's a couple other tips on how you can eliminate air hammer other than just buying the air hammer arrester. Like I mentioned before, if there's a pressure reducer, you're probably not gonna run into that issue. So another thing I could do is just run a pressure reducer on this line, make sure it's staying below 60 PSI. Another thing that I did here, I just put some rebar into the ground, some stakes and tied baling wire to this pipe here so that it would help to stabilize it. If it does send a jolt through, it's just barely gonna move. I'm also supporting everything with this pot, um, another stake here. So everything's super supported now. So that's just a few techniques that you guys can use to eliminate any air hammer problems. This is my full pressure line running the sprinklers. Let's turn it off. There we go. And now it's barely moving.